Whitney Lauritsen from EcoVeganGal.com. Tonight is Friday, September 9th, 2011. We're just a few days away from the 10 year anniversary of 9-11, which especially as Americans shook us deeply, but I think it shook the entire world. And I think everyone starts to really think around this time of year. What September 11th brought about for most people is some sense of compassion and coming together, not separating ourselves, not looking at our differences, but looking at our similarities, appreciating each other, putting aside hate. There was too much hate happening at that time that so much love just started overflowing. And it's a shame that that doesn't happen more often. We're, we're so fortunate to be connected as a world uh, where we can just reach out to our keyboard and type somebody a message and instantly communicate with them. Uh, but unfortunately, it does bring around uh, some negativity. How can we communicate with each other in a more positive, loving way? If you want to know what to do with, with this inspiration that's happening this weekend, is to take a look at how you communicate with people on a regular basis. Do you do it from a place of love regularly? And maybe occasionally you slip into a place of anger. We all do, I do. <laughs> as hard as I try not to. Um, or do you find yourself getting really angry and frustrated with people? And if you do, is it worth it for you? Why are you doing it? What is the point of taking all this energy to be angry at someone when we could use that energy to do something so much more positive? You know? Why would I waste my time getting in an argument on Facebook, Twitter, emails, blogs, whatever it is, when I could spend my time maybe learning more about the other perspective to understand it? And that energy that you expel internally just takes so much away from you. Whereas the difference of a loving connection and moment with somebody is uplifting. It makes you just want to go out there and do something for the world. That negative impact of a bad conversation with somebody drags you down. You could spend hours stewing over that moment, that fight with somebody, whether it's out of jealousy, whether it's out of a difference of opinion. I invite you to step back and think about your actions, your words, your overall communication. Are your actions making you feel good? Do you think that they make other people feel good? Do your words do the same? You know the second you say something harmful to someone, it resonates within you. It might feel good to sometimes get someone back and say something mean to someone you're jealous of, but there's still, it's like a bittersweet feeling, right? I mean, cruel things just, they never feel entirely good. But what usually feels entirely good is when you love someone no matter what, even your enemy even someone with a totally different opinion of you. You could see someone doing something and you just think it's completely wrong, but coming from a place of love and respect is a gift that you can give them that they'll probably never expect from someone so different from them. We can't make this overall generalized statement on what's right or wrong. I have no idea what feels good to somebody else. Sure, as a society, we have general ideas on that, but that's going to differ from culture to culture. There's so many cultures throughout the world, and everybody has a different opinion. Everyone sees the world in a different way. Next time you're in a conversation about your diet, your lifestyle, challenge yourself to see how you can speak about it with the least amount of judgment as possible and the most amount of compassion. Sure, you may have a different opinion, but remember that that's their choice and that we all evolve. Same thing as environmentalists. Environmentalists have this incredible opportunity to teach people what they've learned. Not many people want to take the time to learn about how our actions affect the planet and our future. So instead of coming at as, you shouldn't do this, come across as, this is what I've learned this is what I've been doing, this is the positive effect it happens. And then let others decide for themselves if they want to do that. There's so much good that we can do for the world as individuals if we just take a moment and breathe and have compassion 
for other people, for animals, for the planet. We can all make such a huge difference that way. The possibilities are completely endless. I can pretty much guarantee you that incorporating more love and compassion into your life, no matter how you do it, will make you feel better, make you feel stronger, more energized, more ready to take on the world and try new things. And communicating with other people and forming bonds with them instead of separating yourselves from them will make us all stronger together so that we can make a huge difference and make better things happen even faster. Thank you so much for watching and I really wish you the best wherever you are in the world. My heart goes out to all of you and I look forward to hearing all the inspiration that'll come out of this tragic event. So feel free to share that with me right here on YouTube, on Eco Vegan Gals comment section on Facebook and Twitter. I love hearing from you as viewers and readers. And thank you so much for your mostly positive support. It inspires me to do more and more and work harder and harder. And it's, it's incredible. My website is proof of what happens when a group of people show love towards another individual. You have all made me who I am today, and I thank you so much and look forward to learning more about you and, and the journey that I will take with you. Thanks again. Bye.